The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 590. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She's the producer and presenter for The Enterprise Show on BFM, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Frida Liu. Frida, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Basically, I work as a producer presenter for this show on BFM, and it's targeted at SMEs and entrepreneurs and how organizations are run. Well, I was born in uh, in Brunei, in a small town in Brunei, and then I had early education there. Uh, came back to Sarawak, which is in Borneo, part of Malaysia. Stayed a couple of years there before I came up to KL, pursued my studies, and then I worked in did my studies, finished my studies, got a job in public relations, but I also had a part-time job reading the news on radio and TV. And then 10 years ago, uh, this station came about. I left IBM to do this because it was a great culmination of uh, my life in corporate and also having uh, the broadcasting experience. And I'm here for 10 years. Love what I do. Meet a lot of people from startups to organizations. And uh, I just love what's happening in the country at the moment. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Frida, what's your cultural background? I am of Chinese heritage. My On my father's side, this will be the 1830s that they went over to East Malaysia, to, to Kuching specifically, where it was all about gold mining. And then on my mother's side, I think, you know, typical third generation Chinese. So that's the heritage. Although people look at me and say, are you sure there's something else in there? So I don't know. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? My favorite self-confidence quote is, I, I, this is something from Nelson Mandela, better not bitter. I think we go through a lot of things in, in, in life. And, you know, I, I remember going through a really low period in my life and I knew that whatever it is that I come out and experience, I want to be better from the experience and not bitter because it's so easy to, to be bitter and and we just move on from there. And I also have, have a quote, you know, uh, from, from the Bible as well, you know, which I've shared with you. And I think that that really is important as well, that you know, my confidence doesn't come from me alone. And I know that there will always be weaknesses. But, you know, when, when you have a, a bigger anchor, uh, you know that everything's going to be OK. Thanks for sharing that. And I love that quote that you mentioned, because, yeah, you know, in life, we're going to go through some bad times. Um, sometimes we might be in their lowest point of our lives, but there's always something good that comes up, come, something good that comes out of everything, and we, we can see it in that perspective. You know, life is just a lot better, and we just keep mo- moving forward, like you mentioned. So thanks for sharing that. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? Okay. You know, when I look at self-confidence, knowing that yeah, I, there is strength and vulnerability, right? You always You're always going to feel, I'm not and even now, right, there'll be things that I want to try that I'm afraid of trying. But, hey, let me try it. What's the worst that can happen? Will you die? You know, <laughs> you know, always try to enlarge your 10. What more can you do? What how better can you be? You know, and, and, that, and that improve from there. Right. Because and that's how confidence comes about. But then there'll always be some niggling thoughts about how can I do? How can I do more? Right. And I think that's how you build it up along the way. But start with knowing that we are all gifted. We're all talented in certain areas. And if there's something that you want to try, just go for it. You know, you're not going to you know, like I say, am I going to die from this? No. Right. Fine. Let me try it. Thanks for sharing. Then I love that. You know, I know sometimes it's hard to try something new, like you mentioned, because it's scary and it's something we never know what's going to happen. But just taking that first step is huge. And we can realize like, we will not get it right the first time. But if we keep doing it, we will get better and start progressing. So I really love that definition that you mentioned. And Frida, what was your life like before your discovery of self confidence? I always never been, I don't think I've always had confidence issues. And that's a lot to do with with growing up, being the youngest in the family, I think all the pressures was on the eldest. (laughs) So by the time they got to me 10 years later, it's like, whatever. So I think part of it is nature, as in I've always been open to trying new things. The fact that my parents that put a lid on me, right? So, so I've never had to, to worry about doing things and getting discouraged, right? So 
was it was the like I said, it was the low period in my life about ten years ago when my confidence was shattered. Everything I thought that was real was true came to a halt, and I had to really do a lot of self reflection. And in that process, finding the quote, finding my you know finding my anchor in God, that was the thing that really turned things around. And then you know that you know it's I I, I think things have always been fairly smooth in my life, and then it took something like that. It took it took me getting down to the valley to realize that then to appreciate the mountains and you know and to know that life is going to be ups and downs i think that was a good thing to know that there could be lows there are going to be highs but know that this too shall pass and that you will you know and believe and the hope that you will get out of it but always i always tell people to find that anchor whatever it is whatever your your spiritual guide may be but find that anchor know that you know i, I think when you start believing it too much in yourself right and I don't mean this in a bad way. You sometimes might get arrogant even in that process. So knowing that there is someone bigger, better, that will always guide you, that has been, that has been my, my driving force. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I, I totally believe, like you mentioned, finding that anchor, whether it's God you believe in or the universe or whoever it is, we, we always know there's someone out there who has our back, right? And even when, like you mentioned, on our lowest points of our lives, we're never doing this alone. There's always someone out there, a, a bigger force or, you know, whatever you may call it, right? Whoever you believe in. And just knowing that there's something out there, even if you can't see it, but you have faith in it, it just makes life a little bit better. And, you know, because of that realization, what's your life been like now? And and surround yourself with with uh, positive friends. Surround yourself will surround yourself with people who will lift you to get your thinking uh, in a different place. If you you know if there are people that I've chosen. You know I don't lose them as friends, but how much time do I want to spend with them? How much time are they dragging me down or are they lifting me right? And that's very it's uh, it's that that headspace. Who's going to occupy my headspace as well? What's going to occupy my headspace? That's really important. Otherwise, you know, it was really a conscious effort. Okay, this person's going to zap me. It's going to drain me to to actually move away and then to spend your time with activities that will exercise. You know, trying new things, experimenting with new things. These things will lift you up uh, rather than you know being going down doldrums. And you know all these things, right? What situations not to be in? That's one. And what what friends you know come to your life. Thanks for sharing. And I love that tip that you mentioned, you know, choosing the people that you surround yourself with is huge because they always say you're the average of the five people you hang out with. So it's really important to have people out there who walk with you side by side, who lift you up when you have days where you're not 100 percent confident. It really and, and, the, and, the, and, and the books you read. Yeah, totally. Yeah, especially like self-help books are great. I'm, I'm a huge self-help reader, right? I know some people might think it's crazy, but you know, I, I love reading them because it really does give me that boost, right? It just gives me a different perspective on things and, and how I see life and how I see myself. So thanks for sharing those tips. I just want to add on to that. I mean, I think also the fact that I'm, I was able to, to, you know, get out of that has been because of the books that I've read all the while. And so it, I've actually read it theoretically, and finally, I got to put it to practice. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out your show, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Okay, you can find me at thefridalu.com. Follow me on IG at thefridalu, um, you know, and you know, get a hold of my books as well, and women speakers as well. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Frida, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Frida's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Frida today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Frida. Thank you. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Want to learn how you can use podcasting to market your business? Download your free report by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.